Hi guys, uh, it's me again, Alice, and I'm here for another unboxing video. I've done, I think this is going to be my fourth, but only my second one in suit. I'd like to keep doing it in suit because it's a lot of fun, and nobody wants to see me, they want to see this. So, <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this in suit, and I've decided to call these segments Unboxing Alice, because I'm Alice and I unbox stuff. That's, that's pretty much it. It's not complicated, it's not deep. I have no imagination whatsoever, so that's what I came up with. But if you've got something better, let me know in the comments. So, for this video, I'm going to be unboxing, I believe it's July shipment of the Persona pins. And in addition to that, I got a little bit of a bonus. A few months ago, I uh, ended up backing an Indiegogo campaign. So I took a break from my Kickstarter addiction and went to Indiegogo and spent money there. <laughs> But it was for, it, unlike Kickstarter, which can't do, which I don't think they can do charities, uh, Indiegogo had a, a hashtag Fursuit Friday campaign, and it was brought on by Pokari Roo and Stormy Fall, Majira Strawberry, Telephone, uh, Vixen Dog, uh, who else? Uh, I think Ace of Hearts Fox is in there somewhere. A lot, a lot of fur, uh, a lot of fursuiters that, most of which, unfortunately, I don't know who they are, but <laughs> they all came together and they decided to support a specific horse-based charity called the Last Chance Corral. And what they do is they take in like abused and neglected horses of all ages. They bring them in from abuse, uh, you know, from abusive situations and they nurse them back to health and they even adopt them out to people. And I thought this was really cool. I've always loved horses. I actually rode them for five years when I was in college as an undergraduate. They're really cool animals. I definitely can't afford getting one. <laughs> And this, this place does their homework. They're really stringent with, you know, who they adopt these out to. I don't have a barn. I don't have, like, a billion acres. And I don't have horses already, so I, I can't adopt from them. So that sucks. But, you know, people who can <laughs> get their horses from them. But they, it's a really good charity. And, as you know, to raise money for this cause, they were selling T-shirts and calendars featuring all those fursuiters. And I got one of each. There's some stretch goals in there, too, because, yeah. But... Uh, I got the shirt. I don't have the calendar yet, so I'll have to unbox that when I get it. But I did get the shirt, so I will be opening that after the first one. The first one depends. And um, also testing new equipment, just like last time. I I'm new to this, so I'm trying all kinds of new freaky stuff. I got a microphone. I'm sure you can hear that. Um, just to cut down a little bit of background noise. Also, I got a selfie tripod stick doohickey thingy. I need it for my Japan trip, but I also need, you know, a tripod to do these videos. So I'm testing that. I tested the last video with my with the action camera. I didn't like the quality. I, I didn't like the fact that a battery, the battery life lasted 50 minutes. I don't know what that is. So sent that back, and I'm using my phone now. So onward with the pins. So I'm going to open the pins first, and we're going to see what we got. Because again, this was July, and it's I think it's August 28th right now. I, I, my watch is not so. I don't remember what we got. <laughs> I really don't. So we'll be surprised together. Let's see. Pins. Shirt. <laughs> um, well, I grabbed the shirt. So we're just gonna get the we're going to do the shirt first because that's what my paws apparently want. And I'm not in charge, my paws are. So we're gonna do this shirt. It's a very nice shirt. I vaguely remember what it looks like. And I think I got a large. Uh, it's unisex. I'm female, so I just kind of had to guess wildly, make uneducated guesses. I have between medium and large. I'm fat, so I'm like, you know what, large. I'm going to do large. If it's too big, then it'll be a nice shirt, which will kind of suck because this is a nice shirt. If it's too small, then it's a gold shirt. And I can not be fat anymore, and then hopefully I'll fit into it one day. Anyway, here's the shirt. Maybe. I don't know where the top of it is. My paws can't do things. <laughs> Opening this shirt is now the hardest thing I've done in my life. And that sounds really stupid until you open a shirt with fursuit paws. It sucks. There's the tip. There we go. Just the tip of the shirt. All right. Yeah. So here's the shirt that I cannot see because my head is huge. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a lovely shirt. Okay. So here is the shirt that they were giving away. Or, well, not giving away, but selling, obviously. <laughs> but for the charity, this is what you were going to get. And I thought it had four characters. I guess it doesn't. I don't remember. It, again, it was three months ago. I don't remember what happened last week. Anyway, 
Uh, we got Majira. We've got Telephone. We've got... Uh-oh. I have no idea who that is. I feel really bad because I'm going to assume they are famous and I'm stupid, but I don't know who this is. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. If you know who this is, please let me know in the comments. Um, I, they look cool, whoever they are, and I'm sure they're famous, and I'm, again, I'm just an idiot. But it's got these three on there. Um, is there on telephone who I know, and then mystery random blue dude. And it says, I, I totally can't read that. I need an arm. Uh, that was English. <laughs> oh, hashtag Fursuit Friday. 2020 charity calendar and artwork tea on the bottom because they made the shirts. So, that is a really cool shirt. I sincerely do hope it fits. If it does, I'll definitely wear it in the next video. If it doesn't, I'll definitely wear it in the next video. <laughs> Um, well, if it, it squeezes the life of me, then I ain't wearing it in the next video, so. My health is more important than the shirt. Put the shirt over there. Now the pins. Those things I wanted until my paw said no. So help me. Furry Jesus. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm dumping that out. I'm, I'm not digging. That's not happening. Hopefully nothing falls on the floor because I will never see it again. I don't think anything did. So, here are the pins. As a reminder, and hopefully this will be the last time I do this, uh, the Fursona pins operates you know, via Patreon. They've got different tiers, different tiers. You get different stuff. I'm in the $25 tier, which is a really, really good deal. Please check it out, guys. And you get, like, I think, like I said, seven pins or something, and, like, if a sticker, I think. There's a sticker down here somewhere. So, I'm going to do my best to hold up each pin and shove them in my camera space so you guys can actually see them this time. Uh, with my tier, uh, there are gonna be a couple of duplicates. The exclusive pins, have, you get two of those if you're in my tier, and you usually get two of the character pins. Though I think recently they did some voting, and they asked if people want, still wanted two of the same character or if they wanted two different characters. And I think um, having one of, two different characters or one of each kind of won out. So I think starting like August or September, they're gonna be doing that. But for this month, they did do two of the same character. Hopefully I can remember which is the character, which is the exclusive, and which is the sponsor. I probably can, so I'm gonna make stuff up. So yeah. But I'm gonna pick you because my paws have you. And you are, I can't read that. My eyes, Island Fox. This is Island Fox. I believe Island Fox is the exclusive. So it was kind of a summary theme. And so now we got Island, we got a, a foxy dude, just like me, except I'm not a dude. And he's in an inner tube drinking something that looks fantastic and I want it right now. And he's, he's just chilling. He's just chilling because it's summer, or it was summer. It was summer when he came out. So here is Island Fox. I'm going to try and not stupid pause. I'm going to try and show this to you. Eh. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So I have to hold up. There we go. That is Island Fox. I'm really hoping my camera autofocuses and then autofocuses back to me because I can't see it. But that's Island Fox. Uh, again, there's two of him, so if I find the second one, I'm just going to put it away because you've seen it. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, okay. What's this? Who is this? Oh! Island Fox number two, but not quite. With my tier, in addition to the regular uh exclusive pin then you also get a variant so this is the same dude i just mentioned except in a slightly different color like a rose gold or something like that i think that's what it is so. my rose gold island fox let's see if i can not knock the table over and show you island fox hopefully you can see him yeah this the selfie pod stick thingy do floppy <laughs> is very sensitive Every time you bump the table, or you look at it menacingly, or you don't tell it you love it enough, then it falls over. So hopefully it'll stay put until the end of this darn video. I've got now... Oh, this is the this is the month of the Wicker Beast. We end up getting two different Wicker Beast pins. I hold up two fingers. Yes, two. Um, this one, and there's another one digging around in there. Uh, I've never really heard of Wicker Beast much until uh, this month. This month of, month of pins. They're really cool looking uh, creatures. I unfortunately don't know much about them, so I can't really tell you much about their lore or anything like that. But it's a really cool creature. Uh, and they both have really cute coloration. I do remember that much. So this one is, what's his name? Wicker. Oh, 
how they dig. Wicker the Wicker Beast. He's kind of a blue, grayish black, and he looks like he's going to cut some fools. So, here is Wicker the Wicker Beast. And, I mean, he could be the nicest Wicker Beast. If I defamed Wicker, then I am very sorry, Wicker's owner, if you see this. Uh, please ignore the chandelier. It's going to attack my ears. So, that's just going to, yeah, do that. As long as it doesn't come crashing down on my big fat fox face, then I'm good. Let's see what else we got. Oh my god, Paul. <laughs> no, oh, I had one. Son of a monkey. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is Island Fox number two. So I'll just put that to the side. Uh, why don't ever get silicone paw pads? They do not help. Are you kidding me? I just, you know, I'm going to try this one because he's all by his lonesome. Will this work? Okay, good. And it's Wicker again. <laughs> again, two character pins. So I spent all of my time and energy picking up the same darn pen. So, yay me. You know, we're doing this. There we go. I won't do that too much because they'll fall on the floor and then again they'll be lost for all eternity. Now, oh, okay, this one is Chianti. This is the other Wicker Beast we got. This one's really, really adorable. I I wasn't sure which coloration I like better, Wickers or Chianti, but I'm starting to think Chianti now, but they're both really adorable characters, so I'm not trying to take away from either one of them. They're both really beautiful. But here is Chianti, and they are the sponsor pins. So with sponsor pins, you only get one. So I'm keeping my Chianti. That was not going to be up for trade at all. So, oh God, I killed somebody. There we go. Stay over there. Bad pin. Okay, we've got one more. We got oh, we got a shrimpy pin. I'll explain that in a second. I knew, I remember what that one is. Uh, I'm sorry, my my paws are floppy. Got the floppy paws. This one is oh um. Da, 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 da. Exclusive. Oh, mini sponsor. This is who. This is who's missing. Um, within my tier, we get one more. I mean, they're not smaller pins. I, I don't know the difference between a sponsor and a mini sponsor. Probably money. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but uh, this one is the mini sponsor for July, and it is Denver. That's just all it says. I'm assuming that's the con uh, conferry convention. Gazunti. <laughs> Uh, the furry convention in Denver, Colorado. Gonna guess, or maybe I'm stupid. Not good at geography, but I think it's Denver, Denver, Colorado. So uh, I'm gonna assume, because again, I've never been there. I don't know anything about the con. I'm gonna assume these are their characters, and they probably sold at. They probably sold these pins at their convention. I'm not sure. If you've been to Denver, please let me know. But I'll show you. The pin, again, it just says Denfer, so I don't know who these characters are unless one's name is Den and one's name is Fur, which, knowing this fandom, is entirely possible. <sighs> oh my god, Chandelier, stop eating my ears! There we go. All of the Denfer. Okay. Again, I don't, know their, I don't know the characters, but I can tell you what they are, maybe. It is a... You look like a lynx. That's pretty obvious. And you are a bear... The bear. The bear. Pa no, panda. A panda bear. No, no, it's got horns. Come on. Don't sprout weird appendages. So you, you're a bear with horns and and hooves. So, there's a ram. A bear panda ram. A ram to bear. We are going to call this a ram to bear. So they have a lynx and a ram to bear as mascots, I guess. You can have that done for, for free. His name is Ram the Bear now. So, whatever it is, they're <laughs> both really cute. So, I put that down there. Mr. L Mrs. Lynx and Mr. Ram the Bear. And this is going to be my final pin. I got one extra pin this month that I can't pick up because it's impossible. Um, this pin goes all the way back to the Pride Pin Kickstarter. Uh, where they had, you know, all the pins and all the different flags representing different sexualities. And it was a crazy campaign. Uh, you know, it was wildly successful. Almost raised $250,000. I myself spent way too much. And there will be a ridiculously long video on everything I, I, I got, you know, in November sometime when they come. But, you know, they had all these stretch goals and things like that. If we get so many people, you know, liking us on Facebook or... Twittering us on Twitter. And I, I don't have Twitter. I don't know what it does. But <laughs> anyway, um, this was either for pa Patreon or 
Discord. But if enough people, you know, join, we'll say Discord because I can't remember, then we would get the Fursona Pin logo pin. And if a certain number of people did it after that, then we got a, a glittery version. So we got the glittery version because furries are awesome and are generous and love spending tons and tons of our heart, our money on things we don't need but want anyway. So here's the glittery uh, Fursona Pins logo. It's going to be really hard to see. Unfortunately, like unlike all the other pins, this one's really, really small. And it's fighting with really big fingers. So I'll try and show it to you like this. I'll probably be molested by my chandelier again, but there is the Fursona pin logo. At one point, if the um, if these didn't autofocus back and these are blurry, I, I apologize. I'll see if I can fix that when I edit this video, but I don't know how to edit. So <laughs> you might just get some blurry me for a while. Anywho, I think that's all with the pins. Oh, there's one other thing. Oh, the sticker. I forgot. So each... Oh, I murdered that sticker. That sticker's dead. I, uh, with each shipment, you always get a sticker for, for my tier anyway. I'm not sure about the other lower tiers, but, um, this is the sticker of Island Fox. So I'll try and find the stick on something. Island Fox, he's a big sticker, so he's really hard to miss. <laughs> not a sticker person. I love stickers. I think they're really cute. I've seen a ton of really cool ones. I just, I'm weird about marketing my stuff. So, you know, once you stick a sticker on something, it, it is there for all of eternity it will be there when world war three ends and there's nothing but cockroaches and twinkies there will be that sticker uh i i should start sticking them on things like i that's why i don't have like decals and stuff on my car because eventually i'm going to sell this car uh like crappy chevy impala so and i the can you imagine walking into a place and looking at somebody's car and seeing furry stuff and pony stuff and anime stuff and it's just like an orgy of nerd <laughs> that threw up all over this car and you're, no, no, I, I don't want no part of that, no. So that, that's why I don't stick things on things, but I might someday, because I, I really, I've got the cute, I got, I've gotten some of the cutest stickers, and I just don't know what to do with them, so I'll figure out a place for Island Fox. I, I could stick them around this house. I, I don't own this house, I rent it, but uh, it, it's just me in here and a hedgehog, so I'll figure it out, whatever. Anywho, I think that's all. God, I hope there is, oh, uh, there's the, um, this comes with every shipment. It's the Persona Pin credit, no credit card. <laughs> well, that'd be fantastic. I'm just giving out credit cards to people. Oh my God, I'm tired. Um, oh, uh, business card. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Uh, no, they do not give out credit cards. You did not hear that from Alice. <laughs> she did not say that. Um, but here is the business card for Persona Pins. And they include that with every shipment. I hope the lettering is you'll easily recognized in red. Uh, if it's not, I'm going to go ahead, I was stupid last time and I didn't think to do this, but I will link for some of the pins in the comments because that's where all of this comes from. So if you want to get in on their Patreon or if you want to just, you know, shop on their their uh, website because they have that as well, uh, please do so. Uh, in addition to, you know, the Persona pins, they have all kinds of other, you know, previous pins. Uh, they've recently announced a, actually a pin for Poodlers. I think it's on their Persona pin site, uh, but I think you can access access it through persona or fursona pins but they even have a pin now for those uh first who like the poodle or basically show bits of human when they suit so they might think of me with my head and my paws but let's say i wasn't wearing sleeves it was just i was wearing a t-shirt this t-shirt and you'd see my skin so that's what poodling is um there's been a lot of uh back and forth on whether poodling is okay or not but uh, I mean, my, I thought it was odd looking when I first joined the fandom, but I mean, I really don't care. It's, it's your suit, you suit however you want. But please check out that campaign. They have, I think, four different species. And they actually have three different skin colors, and that blew my mind. If you've seen my first and second videos, I'm a darker skinned individual. So they had darker skinned individuals, and they had ones with boobs like me. <laughs> so I got all excited, and I got to... So please check that out too. Uh, I'll go ahead and link that down there. I will also link uh, the Indiegogo campaign. So you know where, if you still want to, I mean, the campaign is over, but I've been on the site recently and you can still get a shirt and a calendar as well. And I'm assuming all the stress goals that come with it, I have no idea. But uh, at the very least, if you want a shirt and a calendar, you can go there. So I will definitely link that, uh, the Persona pins. And I'll go ahead and link the Persona pins as well. As well as, I guess, my uh, Fur Affinity. Uh, I hesitant to link my DeviantArt. I do follow people and add new favorites. 
all of my new work is not on there, so I can link it, but whatever. But again, that's all. That's all for this video. Um, I guess the obligatory, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up and a like and all the other freaky weirdness. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, I think I have like five subscribers now. That's five more than I ever thought I'd have in my life. So thank you, five subscribers. And none of you are my mom either. So that's even awesomer. That's not a word, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, if you, so again, if you have any comments for me, please leave them down in the comments, duh. If you have any questions as well, please let me know in the comments and I'll either answer them just in the comments or I can answer them at the end of the next video. So just whatever, whatever I feel like, whatever I want to do. Uh, that's all for now. So until next time, hopefully I can do one more unboxing video if the August pins come in and maybe the calendar might come in too. So before I go to Japan, hopefully I'll do one more video, but until then, bye bye y'all. See you next time.